I'm Chef Gabe, and this is Under the Hood. You might be wondering, what's Chef Gabe doing in a private kitchen? A pretty nice private kitchen. Well, boys and girls, we ain't cooking flay today. We're cooking with butter, cheese, and milk. We're cooking with dairy. I don't really get to cook with dairy that often. Wait, scratch that. I never get to cook with dairy. So today, I snuck out of Terrasseur, borrowed a kosher kitchen to show you guys some of my favorite dairy recipes, tips, and tricks. First recipe, hollandaise. What is hollandaise? It's delicious. Why? Because of butter. Hollandaise is a sauce made by emulsifying butter, egg yolk, and a little bit of lemon juice. Let me show you how to make it. Prepare a double boiler by placing a heat proof bowl over a medium saucepan, whisk 12 tablespoons of softened butter with six large egg yolks. Once they are fully mixed, slowly add half a cup of boiling water and continue to whisk for seven to 10 minutes until it thickens. Take off the heat and stir in two teaspoons of lemon juice, a pinch of cayenne and salt to taste. Leave the bowl over the water to keep it warm whisk occasionally. We have our hollandaise, now what? First thing that comes to mind is eggs benedict. Start with a toasted English muffin. Now traditionally, you would use ham, but we're going to use smoked salmon. Top with our poached egg and dressed with our beautifully buttery hollandaise sauce. What else can we do with this sauce? We can spruce up a crudite, get rid of that ranch dipping sauce and drizzle some hollandaise over some roasted and fresh vegetables. To completely transform this hollandaise, fold in some tarragon, minced capers, and shallots that were sautéed in some white wine, and spoon it over your favorite piece of white fish. Here are three great uses for hollandaise sauce. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. The next tip is a favorite of mine, what I like to call the ultimate toasted cheese bread. All you need is good bread, some butter, Parmesan, and a nonstick pan. Add one tablespoon of butter on medium high heat. Once the butter has mostly melted, place a slice of your favorite bread in the pan and toast both sides. Remove the bread and sprinkle the pan with grated Parmesan. Place the bread back in the pan and spin it in the cheese, making sure to pick up all the bits of Parmesan. The toast is done once the cheese is golden and crispy. The simplest use for this crispy cheese bread is to cut it up and serve it with your favorite soup. It can also be used as a base for a great appetizer. Simply top with ricotta, your favorite jam, some honey, sea salt, pepper, and lemon zest. But the ultimate use for this technique is grilled cheese. Start with two pieces of bread. Once they have been put back in the pan with the Parmesan, cover one side with some herb marinated sun-dried tomatoes and the other side with some roasted mushrooms. Place fresh mozzarella on both slices and finish with fresh basil. Now, close the sandwich. Once the mozzarella is melted, it's done. Slice in half and serve. There is no end to what you can do with some good bread and some melted cheese. Now, if you want to have some wine with this dish, I recommend our Baron Herzog Chenin Blanc. So far, we made a sauce with butter. We made a toast with cheese and butter. Let's add one more ingredient, milk. The French call the sauce we're about to make sauce Mornay. To make sauce Mornay, you have to make bechamel. Before you make bechamel, you have to make a roux. Now it sounds a little complicated, but it's not. Start the roux by melting two tablespoons of butter over medium high heat and add three tablespoons of flour. Then cook for one minute. Turn the heat off and cool to room temperature. In a separate pot, heat up two cups of whole milk, a bay leaf, and a pinch of nutmeg. Add the cooled roux to the hot milk and whisk over medium high heat for two minutes. You now have bachamel. Now I'm gonna show you two different Mornay sauces, one with blue cheese and one with Parmesan and Gruyere. Mix one cup of hot bechamel with one ounce of blue cheese and one egg yolk. Stir until smooth. 
You now have a blue cheese Mornay sauce. Let's make a kicked up pasta with this. Add three cups of cooked fettuccine pasta, a half cup of fresh peas, a quarter cup of diced cured salmon, and a teaspoon of lemon zest. Plate and finish with parsley. I recommend drapier champagne with this. For the other sauce, start with your hot bechamel, add one egg yolk, one ounce of Gruyere, and one ounce of grated Parmesan. Finish with salt and pepper to taste. Let me show you one more great dish. Spoon or pipe this mixture over a baked potato with some caramelized onions, wilted spinach, and roasted red pepper. Broil for about four minutes until the Mornay sauce begins to bubble. This is just a taste of how versatile Mornay sauce is. If I wanted to pair this with a wine, I would choose Herzog's Special Reserve Chenin Blanc Viognier. I hope these tips, tricks, and recipes inspire you to be creative the next time you cook with dairy.